All right, I want to welcome you for our daily encouragement today. We're continuing in John's gospel and in John chapter 20, verses 19 through 23. So I'd love for you to turn there if you have your Bible with you. Um, and I'll give you just a moment to, to get there in John. Um, I, I know we date these so you can know which day you're watching the daily encouragement. Um, you could just also like watch my hair and see the progression because it's like just ever expanding like a Chia pet. I don't know. Um, but I can't wait to get a haircut someday. Uh, uh, but back to John. Uh, in John chapter 20, and in these verses specifically, we find the disciples encountering the resurrected Jesus for the first time. So it's an incredible passage. Uh, I'm going to read it to you first and just give you a chance to hear it. You can follow along if you have your Bible. <clears throat> um, but let our ears be open uh, to the power of God's word, knowing the Holy Spirit desires to speak to us. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fears of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. And the disciples were overjoyed when they saw their Lord Jesus. Again, Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Uh, the word of God uh, for us, his people. You know, as I look at this passage, there are some profound things to, to think on and a few teaching points that I want to offer to us as we consider the word of God here and, and the message for us. Uh, and one of those is that the disciples show us the proper response to the resurrection. Uh, the disciples, we find them locked in doors for fear of the Jews. And so the disciples are consumed by fear and, and yet, when they encounter the resurrected Jesus, that fear is transformed into joy and peace. And, and so this is the response of the resurrection. Yet once they encounter the glory and the power and the authority of Jesus, once they see that is evidenced in the risen Jesus, um, they have every reason to let go of their fear and embrace only joy. And so... Um, you know, that, that's the response we have to the resurrection because this is Jesus in all of his power and his authority. And so we can have peace and joy no matter what goes on in our life because we know that this is uh, the unstoppable reality uh, of, of our faith. And so uh, it's an exciting thing to see. And, and hopefully that's our response, even the season that we're in, that we live out of the joy of the victory and promise we have in Christ. Uh, the second thing that I, I kind of notice in this, and, and it's that you'll notice that Jesus says, peace be with you twice. And, and that may seem a little strange because it's, it makes sense that Jesus says, peace be with you when he first encounters the disciples. I mean, they're locked in a room and they're scared. So it's fitting for him to say, peace be with you. But why the second time? Well, I think there's a good reason for that. You see, the second time you'll notice that after Jesus says, peace be with you, he gives them purpose. And so the second company of peace is, is a sense of purpose. And, and you have to remember their purpose is to go out. Jesus says, I, as the Father sent me, so I'm sending you out. And where are they? They're, they're locked in a room, right? They're afraid. They're, they're holding themselves off from the world in fear. And so Jesus says, no. I really mean peace be with you. It's not just a casual greeting. I want you to be in peace because I'm sending you out of a room and locked doors to go out to minister to the world. And, and that's the purpose he gives them. That just as God the Father sent Jesus out into the world, so Jesus is sending his disciples to minister just like he did. So we are called to go out into the world like Jesus, to minister like Jesus. That's our purpose. And I think we need the peace of God to rest upon us as we seek to do the same. 
Uh, and so let that be a word of encouragement and a sense of purpose for us to claim today as his people. Let's have a, a prayer together. Um, Jesus, we thank you for the victory you give us in the resurrection, that it's not just your glory, but you share that glory with us, your children. Um, we just, we just, uh, we, we, gl we glory in that. That's incredible. And we praise you. We pray for us as we consider our purpose. Would you give us peace as we go out in your name to do and continue your work? We love you. We thank you and pray you're with us this day. Amen. Thank you so much.